Well, the search continues tonight after a Knox County Sheriff's deputy says he spotted a tiger cub. The Sheriff's Office saying the deputy spotted the tiger in the forks of the River Industrial Park last night. Since then, many of you have been calling our newsroom, the search even being picked up on the national level. Six on your side, reporter Madison Keevy bringing us now the story tonight. Knoxville trending on social media, making national headlines for a possible tiger sighting. This is a story you've likely heard and really something only 2020 could cook up. And now we're getting a closer listen at some of those first calls to dispatch. Missouri Animal Control Unit at 10 8. I'm out with a tiger cub. Do what? You heard correctly. Those calls painting a picture before multiple agencies came to the Forks of the River Industrial Park. A UT Zoo specialist walking us through some of those plans on that night when that first report came in. I think be careful. I mean, you know, we we still don't know the size or the nature of this animal. Um, you know, there's obviously, you know, you hear the word tiger, and I think there's a big difference between a juvenile tiger that's been hand raised by somebody in a house versus a tiger, a full grown male tiger that's, you know, potentially a lot more aggressive. So I think people have got to be aware and be careful. Um, you know, small pets, you know, are certainly um, targets. Um, so, you know, especially in those areas, I think. Now, TWRA is asking anyone that lives in this southeast Knoxville area, if you have a home security system that takes video or photos, to look back at it over the last couple days and see if there's anything on it that can help them in this investigation. That UT Zoo specialist tells me the more information they have, the better they can make a plan tailored to that animal, tiger or not. In Knoxville, I'm Madison Keevy, WATE6 on your side. All right, Madison, thank you. And you know, if you see the tiger, you can share any pictures or videos you may have by sending them to our newsroom. Just be careful. And of course, we'll bring you all the latest on the search tomorrow right here on Good Morning Tennessee.